and nieces and nephews welcome back to auntie nell's kitchen to my new subscribers welcome 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 and i thank all of you for your love and support to my channel i really appreciate it today we're going to be making sweet potato cornbread yes sweet potato cornbread sweet potato cornbread can be used as a side item it can go next to that good old stuffing or that dressing so your guests can have both of those or they can choose one or the other but the sweet potato cornbread has a glaze on top of it so it all can be used and you can put it on that dessert uh table too so we're going to go with everything you need so you too can make this for you and your family or yourself and whatever and it doesn't have to necessarily be the holiday season you can make this any time of the year that you want to okay so get auntie your mom gonna do a flip and a swip and i'll be right back so we can get started okay hold on i'll be right back okay first go ahead and get your oven turned on so it can go ahead and start preheating to 350 all right I, you're gonna have one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of yellow cornmeal okay now this you can use this is self-rising yellow cornmeal and so uh what i'm going to do i'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder two teaspoons of baking powder in here and one teaspoon of salt and i'm going to whisk that together okay now right in here i'm going to whisk while well, i whisk this all together i have one teaspoon of nutmeg one teaspoon of cinnamon oh the salt is in here too So I whisk all my dry, all these dry ingredients together. And I'm gonna put that to the side. For now, you're going to need one third cup of vegetable oil, two third cups of white sugar, one large egg, one fourth cup of honey, one fourth cup of packed light brown sugar, three mashed sweet potatoes, and one cup of cold buttermilk, which is sitting in the fridge, okay? So we're going to get this out of the way and I'll be right back, okay? I'm going to go ahead and add my brown sugar in here housekeeping go ahead and add my white sugar Here's my buttermilk. Your oil. Honey. Get all that goodness out. And add that egg, egg, egg in there. Now we're not gonna add my sweet potatoes in there. I'm gonna get this all mixed, blended up first. And 
and I use a hand mixer for this. Get that little piece of cinnamon over there. Then I add my sweet potatoes. Now your sweet potatoes, let me show you the size sweet potatoes that you would get for this recipe. Because it's very rare that I have this size. So hold on a moment. When you're talking about uh, three sweet potatoes for this recipe, this size that fits in the palm of your hand, that's the size I'm talking about. And I'm going to get this all blended up on high. Let me get my butter. It's in the microwave. Okay, I had to get my butter out the microwave. It's one stick of one stick of melted butter. If it's on the side, it ain't what? It ain't mixing. That's why I use a hand mixer when doing this. Uh, don't don't try to mix this with a spoon. It's, it, you, you could mess up something. Don't just use a hand mixer. If you have a hand mixer, definitely use your hand mixer. Now, this is all nice, good to go, good to go, good to go. Okay, now I'm going to put it in a pan. Okay, I'm going to put this in the oven, and this is going to bake for 45 minutes. And I'll be back. But we're gonna when I get down to like the last 15 minutes, we're gonna uh I'll, I'll be back and we'll work on our glaze, okay? Okay, family, we have our nice sweet potato cornbread is here. So I'm gonna move this to the side and I gonna start on our glaze. Now you can you can do this without the glaze or you can eat it without the glaze or i just think the glaze is extra special okay you're gonna uh this is one stick one half a stick uh well three fourth stick i'm sorry one three fourth stick of butter melted and i'm um, what i'm going to do i'm going to add this is one half cup of dark packed brown sugar get that all mixed in together all delicious all that deliciousness you can see okay and I'm going to add to this is this is one third cup of water I'm 
leave that alone. Now, now for sure, uh, add my cinnamon. Go to add a nice good teaspoon of cinnamon in here. I don't add nutmeg to it. You can add nutmeg if you want the flavor of nutmeg in here. You can add it. Okay, so now for your extracts, your flavorings, I'm using vanilla. But let me, um, there are other extracts that I have used. I've added maple, which is really good. Maple is really, really good. That's that's a good favorite. And I'm going to turn this down while I'm running my mouth. I've added rum, and I've also used real rum. I've added orange extract, which uh, gives you a unique flavor, but it's good. And I've added lemon extract, and each of these would use a teaspoon. But today we're going to be going with vanilla. So I'm going to add one nice teaspoon of that vanilla extract. Okay. I better put the top on that before I knock it down. And I can turn my heat back up. Remember, this is, um, you don't need a whole lot of this, okay? So, we, we're not going to, you don't need a whole lot. La -de -la -de -da. You don't need a whole lot of that. So, now you know this is, has to be a little thicker. So, we're going to use a thickener. So, I have here three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of cold water. And I will be adding this uh, a little at a time. Okay, so hold on. Let me get this water added in here. As you can see, I'm going to add it by the teaspoon. I'm going to add a little at a time. I start off with three teaspoons first. Get out a good whisk. And I see if that's the thickness that I want. Because I don't want it thick like jelly. And you see, that's the thickness. Look there. And how you really test your thickness, you take the back of a spoon or you have a spatula. And you look at it. This is how you determine it. See that? See how it sticks to the back of the spoon, even a silicone, spatula, whatever. And this is it. Now, we're going to turn this off, but this is hot. And what I'm going to do with this, now I'm going to show you how you can do this. I'll be right back. It's best to add your glaze on when your uh, cornbread is nice and hot. Now, some people, you know, you can, they poke, they uh, poke holes. If I was going to do the hole. In it, I use these large smoothie straws and I go around like that, but I don't want to do that today. And that's what I do. I just pour my glaze on. Because number one, this glaze is sweet, so you don't want to just pile it on to, you know, you don't want to do that, okay? Because this is a, a sweet glaze, so you don't want to just pile it on. To, you know, you don't want to do that. Like I said, this is a great complement to your table with your dressing, as we call it in the South. And other places may refer to it as stuffing. And you see how I got those little cracks in there, so some of that goodness. It's going to go down in here, those cracks. And I'm also going to get make sure I get my edges. You know how I am about those edges. What I say, get down, get some of that goodness down in those edges. And see, I have some of this. Some of this is left on reserve now. If... You, you double this recipe and you have a little small crock pot 
you can put the rest of that glaze in there and let it uh, plug it up and have it on the table where it's kept warm and your uh, family, friends, guests, they're able to scoop some of that out and put a little bit extra glaze on top of the uh, sweet potato cornbread. Okay, so see, this is nice. And this is, you don't want it, you don't want your glaze unless you got a sweet tooth. Um, you don't want it where it looks like it's nothing but a big hunk of bread with a thick layer of uh, brown sugar on it. So here it is. So we're going to, I'm going to cut into this so we can get a piece out so we can see what it looks like on the inside family. And here we are. We got our sweet potato cornbread. That's what I was saying about your guests. If you put some on the crock pot on the table, that way your guests can drizzle some on it and have that going down the side of here like that. They can have some of that goodness going down the side of the bread. Oops. Look at that. All of that deliciousness. Mm, yum, 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 yum. That's what I'm talking about. Woohoo! This sweet potato cornbread. This and I'm think going to be eating this with some collards, and um, I do some beef and beef peppers with onions, and this will be served. It's going to go two folds because it's going to serve as a side dish and a bread at the same time. Cool, right? Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Okay, so hold on, family. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching my video. Your support on that sweet potato cornbread. I'm telling you. Your your family, they have you haven't tried it, they haven't tried it, you're going to like it. I'm telling you, no, you're not gonna like it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're not gonna like it. you're gonna love it. It's really, really good, and it's something different, but it's really a good difference. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Okay, so I will see you guys later. Tight hugs and kisses to each of you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Go be you, be great, be you until the next upload. I will see you later. Bye.